We've also deployed the LTE network in approximately... Safaricom Chief Executive Officer Bob Collimo has defended the security contract awarded to the firm by the government, saying they are capable of handling it. Collimo was speaking when he appeared before the National Assembly Committee on Administration and National Security, where he asked for the rest of the session to be held in camera, saying he is mostly concerned about the company's image. Our, the technical team here, that there are issues. You see... There are issues of image, there are issues of whatever, that they really feel that it may not be necessarily, they, will, they may not want to expose him, them at this point. But, uh, and we have had it before, we have had to, so many people requesting for that, we have given them, it would be unfair to block uh, the request. The Safari Combos has told the MPs probing the contract that during execution, none of their employees or agents will have access to the security network. The National Police service communication network will be separate and distinct from the Safaricom commercial network. Neither Safaricom nor its agents will have access to this communication. We've committed to deploy a far more superior technology in keeping with modern technological trends and standards used by police services globally. Information security will be the hallmark of this system. It will not be possible to break through the system information security firewalls and related systems. This is because Besides integrating the world's best multi-layered security elements, the management of the communications and, and any arising information will be handled solely by trained members of the police service. Safaricom was awarded a 15 billion shilling contract to develop a state-of-the-art surveillance communication system to improve the efficiency of the country's security agencies. For Laban Wanambisi, I'm Olive Barrows for Capital TV.